I would say the best part of my internship is being able to work with so many experts in the field. Um, there's not a lot of internships where you get to work in a space where there's so many people who are so knowledgeable about the subject and not only about nonproliferation as a whole, but also about the more specific aspects of it. Um, so that's been a really great part of it and getting to experience all the lectures that we've had um, and hearing from not just one perspective, but a lot of different perspectives on a lot of different issues has been really helpful in, in broadening my horizons in the field. Um, I chose to do this internship because uh, it seemed like an incredible opportunity to learn more about nonproliferation, which is something that I have a very, very small amount of experience with in undergrad. So um, it was kind of nice to find something that was so specifically focused on one issue, um, while at the same time providing a lot of other opportunities for further education in the subject. Uh, my main responsibilities were, well, so I worked on a couple of different projects. Uh, one was the NTI, the Nuclear Threat Initiative Country po Profiles. Um, and because my college major was uh, focused on Russia, I did the post-Soviet states for those. Um, I also did some work with the uh, trafficking database, um, as well as work for Sarah Bidgood doing two different things. One was the Women in Nonproliferation database. Um, which was collecting resources written by women um, about nonproliferation, but also about uh, gender disparities in the field. And then the second thing was research on the possibility of a 1950s Soviet radiological weapons program in old declassified Soviet documents. Like I said, I came from a relatively uninformed background on the issue, and so um, I knew about international security and international relations generally, but getting to focus a little bit more was really great. Um, I know a lot about Russian history generally. I didn't know a lot about their uh, atomic program, so getting to do that kind of research has been really awesome. So at the beginning of the summer, um, my mornings were spent doing a lot of the stuff for the Women in Nonproliferation database and the NTI country profiles. Um, and then we would have a lecture about halfway through the day, um, sometimes two. Um, and then I would sort of switch around with my research depending on the day. So um, a lot of it was the radiological weapons program. Um, the first few weeks of the internship was a lot of research on the NTI profiles. Um, pretty much just at the beach. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean Monterey is so beautiful and um, I've never spent a prolonged period of time in California. So um, yeah, going to the beach, uh, hiking in the area, Point Lobos is really nice for that. Um, I sort of traveled locally. I went to Big Sur, I went to San Francisco, um, going a little bit farther. The best part about living in Monterey, uh, honestly it's the weather because it's beautiful here. Um, and there's just a lot to do in the general area. Um, I felt like even though Monterey itself is kind of small, I feel like the area has a lot of really interesting cool things to do. Um, and obviously going to the beach is nice. I would say that if you're interested in international relations and international security as a whole and you're trying to figure out what it is that you want to focus on within that, I think this is a really great way to try to figure that out. Um, and that nonproliferation is so incredibly important and I think that CNS does a really great job of exposing us to a wide variety of issues within the field. Um, in order to give us the best idea of, of what we'd be working on. Um, and I thought that was a really great part of it. Mm -hmm.